YouTube is your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are A Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. I just want to hit you with a little something, something. This is more in line with my um, information that I do about dating, dating and relating. So before I get started, please hit subscribe, please hit like. Thank you, thank you. So just briefly, I want to touch on dating after 50 years old. Recently, I was told by a beautiful soul, a sweet friend, she was like, it just may be time for you to get back out there into the dating world. So I pose a question to you and to others. Exactly what does that look like? 2024, 50 plus women, 50 plus men what does dating look like in 2024 over 20 years ago when i would date it looked like me going to a picnic meet a gentleman chit chat end up you know kicking it um i was introduced by somebody dated someone that way i had like an online circle i hung out with dated a couple of guys that way i went to a mixer on Mondays, um, business, like I worked at Kraft Foods. So us business people, we would go out and meet at this nice, it was like an upscale lounge out in the suburbs by where I live. I mean, the ways to meet people was countless. One thing I don't like at times is when people that have been married over 15 plus years try to tell people that are out here dating and I'm not really even out here dating because I really haven't tried hard. Um, but they tell them how to do it. This is not 1995. This is not 1999. I just told you my story from 2000, 2003, 2002. You know, it's a shame to say, but things are different now. So it's easy to be flippant and say, got to put yourself back out there. But it's not to be. It's not, it's not set up like that. Me, I'm not a big fan of online. I think... You know, you know how some people say, that's how I met my husband, that's how I met my wife. So I believe it does work. I believe it take a while, you know, at times for certain people. I think um, people that are online, some are playing games, they're dating like a whole bunch of people sleeping around. I just think it's not the best thing for me. I'm not saying I won't do it. I prefer not to. I've tried it. I don't like the energy that um, comes with it. I would do a more upscale online where I have to pay a, a decent amount to vet, <laughs> you know, where these people are interviewed and thoroughly, you know, checked out. That might work a little better for me. I've told friends like, do you know anybody? You know, I'm single. Do you know anybody? No, nah, girl. No. Nah. One friend said, if I introduce you to my friends, he's a male friend. If I introduce you to my friends, you would no longer speak to me. So. It's a bit rough out here, you all. Some of it is me. Straight up no chaser. I'm real no nonsense. I'm firm. I'm not about that bull. You're not going to come to me with that. I don't want to be bothered with it. I'm not about sex. You know, like that's off the table for me. I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm saying that's not what I'm looking to do. Jump in this bed, 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 bed. It's just when you're in your 50s, some of us, and you have lived, I've been married before, um, I've had a long-term relationship. I'm just, I'm just more cut and dry. I'm serious-minded. Now, there's a rumor that uh, black women are mean, unapproachable. So let me debunk that myth. When I'm out and about and I see a brother, I speak to a, an, another race, male. I speak, but if I see a brother, I speak. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? They do seem surprised, but I do it. I was in an elevator. I went to the, the doctor. I, for the record, I go to the doctor a bit because I'm, you all know I'm a cancer survivor. And, you know, anybody 40, 50, if you take care of your body, you mean going for your mammogram, you should have your colonoscopy. I'm a cancer survivor, so I have an oncologist. We should be going to our primary. So you should be going to the doctor a few times a year if you take care of your health. But anyway, I was at the doctor's office downtown Chicago, gentleman in the elevator, a brother, African-American man with a postal uniform on. And we were ended up in there together. I said something funny, he kind of laughed. And, and I spoke to him, you know, before that. So I always speak, so don't come to me saying, you know, you're not, you're not being open, 
you don't speak. I kind of don't want to hear any of that no more. They're intimidated by you. I mean, every man is intimidated by certain women. I just Some of this stuff is just hogwash. And it's frustrating. Now, I haven't even really got back out there and tried. Because after my breakup, COVID hit. And to me, that knocked off. 2019, I was in my own world. I couldn't even date if I wanted to. That was when I did try online and ran into two very strange characters. Never got to meet them, don't want to, didn't want to. But then COVID hit. And so that's pretty much, you know, that was a wrap for me. And then I won't even bore you with some of my details of that, of after that. But now it is 2024. So last summer, I went to a very nice retirement party. I went to a very nice birthday party. I went to a rooftop something with my friends I was out I went to Nashville all through the airport I went to a wedding so I was out so nothing no guy at the retirement party they were like not even friendly so what are you supposed to do people it's frustrating for those that really try hard I'm not there yet but it, I just hate when people try to blame ladies and I talked to my therapist about this. She said, I have a caseload of women like you. Beautiful, smart, funny, single. And we get blamed for this. You're too picky. You're high maintenance. It's all bullshit. Excuse my French, you all. It is. It's, it's a bunch of excuses. And um, it's not fair to blame decent women and men on their singleness. I have some great friends. My friends, my friends are better, look better than yours. I'm just being silly. Okay, I have very attractive friends, educated, you are educated, not educated, but business mind. Education is hmm, either here nor there. That, that's not the deciding factor. But these are very sweet ladies. Very. I have two sweet relatives that are males. Uh, maybe I'm biased because they're my relatives. But I know people that are genuinely good people and they want to get married and settle down. And the pickings are slim. It's like, where are the men at? You know, the type of man that I like. Attractive, God-fearing, funny, quiet. I do not like big mouth men. Um, I'm 5'7", so I do prefer a bit taller. They like to play tennis or go to the movies or go bowling or go for long walks or travel. They like uh, concerts, whatever. You know, I love sports. I'm a big Bulls fan, big Bears fan. So that's me in, uh, in a nutshell, a short version of me. Where are those type of guys at? You know, and I like age-wise, I'm 53, so 47 and up. I don't like, I don't like older men. Like, you know, they can't get around and all that stuff. I'm just not interested. Uh, you know, so again, I say for the ones that's over 50, we don't want to hear it. Don't be flipping with us. We don't want to hear it because some people, they, they did their work way more than me and they're not meeting anybody. So it's a bit tough out here. It really is. Um, me personally, I think God will provide what I need in, in his time. I feel like it's organic. I don't like jumping online and being desperate, trying to find somebody. I did that 20 years ago and it just don't, it don't work for me. And when you have an energy of desperation, you will, you're gonna get somebody, but you're gonna wish you had enough. And so I, I just rather not hold on you all. If you are over 40, over 50, you're dating and you're frustrated. I feel you, I feel you, but keep the faith and stick to your guns about what you want. Now, let's not be unreasonable. Some people do this. He got to be six feet, three inches. What if he 5'11"? No, I don't want him to. Well, see, do you really want to date? You got you to gotta be honest. No kids. Okay. He has one daughter. She's like 17 or 18 or 20. No, nah, I want no kids. So, some people are shooting themselves in the foot. You got to be flexible. I think that's the key. Um. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask for stuff you don't have. He's got to be a millionaire. What? You know, and I'm not going to talk about credit score. I don't even want to. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. 
So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Give me your feedback, your comments. I would love to hear all about it. Tammy C. Walker signing off. All is well. Everything's working out for my highest good. All is well. Everything's working out for your highest good. Bye.